So now we're going to work with organic shapes. Organic shapes, remember, are the ones without a name or irregular or based on nature. We're going to do this with the pen tool. Before, when we were using the pen tool, we were making lines. And now we're going to make shapes. So let's talk about making shapes with the pen tool. You can click or click and drag to start, and then just drag your pen tool around, making new anchors. And before, when we were making lines, you pressed enter to end that line. Well, now we're making a shape. So instead of pressing enter, I'm going to click on the last point. I can click and drag if I want to, to soften the curve of the last line. But now I have a shape because it is closed. And these were lines because at the end of it, I pressed enter. So now let's play around with a few more shapes. We're going to do the same thing we did before where you're making some kind of composition. If something happens that you don't like or don't expect, just press command Z and try that line again. And when you're finishing a line, you can um, click on the last anchor and drag if you want to. The direct selection tool will allow you to change the angle or the placement of the points that you've made. So if I click on the anchor, I can move that. I can click on this handle and move the handle to change the angle on that. So that is what the direct selection tool or the white arrow does. The black arrow or the selection tool can move the item. It can tilt the item. If you kind of tilt on the edge and see that arrow, that double arrow, you can tilt it or rotate it. Um, and you can resize with that one. Go ahead and play around with this pen tool. Make some more shapes. Make some kind of composition with your, um, with your shapes here. Again, we're working with organic shapes now. Um, these are shapes that are irregular, don't have a name, or maybe are based on nature.